Alright hey guys, I'm here to talk about Deadpool 2. Now, if you don't know who Deadpool is, then you don't have a life. Now, in this Deadpool, right, it shows that Deadpool becomes a hired international mercenary, which he goes around and he just, uh, in the clip he show, uh, he shows that he kills Chinese, he kills the uh, the mob, pops out of a coffin and shoots him in the head. He kills the Japanese with a bunch of swords. And he kills a motorcycle gang in a strip club just in like with heels. Then after that he goes after the Russian. Now the Russian part was a bit of a mistake because he was meant to kill him but the Russian guy ran into a panic room which Deadpool couldn't even get him. So Deadpool ended up getting run ran away because of a bunch of people coming to attack him. Now Deadpool uh, was at home with his girlfriend Vanessa and the Russian guy decided to attack his house and trying to kill him. And at the end of the fight, Deadpool made a mistake which he tried to throw a knife at him but ended up missing him which caused the guy to miss fire on his girlfriend which killed her. Now to get revenge on her he smashed through the window landed on top of the guy and started chasing the guy. The guy got in the car, so Deadpool ran at his car and smashed right into the side of it, making the guy flight fly out of the other side. And the guy and Deadpool picked up the Russian guy, hugged him and just jumped straight onto a bus. Now Deadpool can't die so he's immortal. Now uh, the next this takes us to the next part that Deadpool couldn't live without Vanessa, so he tried killing himself by jumping into a pool bear cage, by jumping off a roof, and by exploding himself. And that takes us to the scene where it shows here that it's a different reality where Vanessa is, where she's dead and her soul is. And Deadpool can see her, but he can't reach her because she turns around and says to him that your heart needs to be in the right place. So what and so that takes us to Colossal, which he finds his body, takes him back to the X Men house and mends him back together, which when he does that it pulls Deadpool back into normal reality. And uh, after that Colossal tries to persuade Deadpool to switch dice, become a good guy. And that makes him become an X Men trainee. Now the next, now this scene shows Cable. Cable is from the future, which he travels back in time because he wants to kill the person responsible for burning his family alive. And that takes us to the person responsible. The person responsible is his fire fist. Now this takes us to the hospital where the train the mutants to control the powers but actually they just torture them to try and take the mutant genes out of them. So Fire Fist lost it and started attacking the place, bursting all the police cars and all that. And uh, the X-Men came in and saw the Deadpool to try and stop him. So uh, because of the way Deadpool is, he made him angry. Started laughing at his name and all that. So that made Fire Fist to attack him throwing Colossus around, throwing Deadpool through the window and uh, Deadpool jumped down and his breakout prison uh, Fire Fist is still in there so when Deadpool leaves he forms a team of X-Force uh, which is a bunch of people with mutant powers and he just uh, recruits them so then they can attack a convoy of the moving prisoners to get Fire Fist out and to stop K before killing him now, when they parachute to go attack the convoy, they just, they all die except for Deadpool and Domino. Domino's power is lucky. So, um, what happens next is that Deadpool fights Cable and then Firefist releases Juggernaut, which he smashes the bridge, causing the whole convoy and the bridge to collapse on each other. Then, after that, Firefist turns evil, abandons Deadpool, and Deadpool goes back home and depressed, unhappy, because he couldn't save him, he couldn't find his right place. So Cable comes in, asks him for help, and Deadpool only helps on one occasion. Do not kill Firefist, and that's it. 
So what happens next is thanks to the hospital that Deadpool goes there. Deadpool goes to the X-Men's house first, uh, while Firefist is at the hospital trying to kill them all, trying to kill the person in charge, burn the whole hospital. And Deadpool comes from the X-Men house and goes to go there and ends up fighting the Juggernaut. Now, the Juggernaut is fighting them all, destroying them, and then Colossus comes in and takes care of Juggernaut while Deadpool and Cable goes after Firefist. Uh, 